On last week's episode, the teams were taken to Wanatama Shopping Mall to gather leads for the Alliance Bank One account. The judges, however, decided to see both teams and Dylan and Kyung were eliminated. Since you guys have broken the rules, so we're going to change the rules a bit. There's lines you don't cross. So sorry, we have to let you go. Uh, we wish you all the best. On the morning of Challenge 3, the competition is starting to take its toll on the participants. Mentally and physically exhausted, the participants need to pull together to get through this next challenge. However, unbeknownst to the teams, a reshuffle is on the cards. Welcome back to Eco Arden Slabs. Good to see you all again. We're on to challenge number three out of five. Now, the Alliance Bank Bismarck Challenge started with hundreds of applicants. This came down to top 40, top 12, and now there's eight of you. So I want to invite each and every one of you, one at a time, to come and pick a card and show me. Actually, I was a bit shocked when, when they told us that there will be a team reshuffling. All right, Team A, Team B, you are supposed to come up with a new name and also new team leads. Have we decided on new team leads and new names? Yeah. Yeah. Who will it be? Our team name is Orange Orange. Orange Orange. The A team. The A team. After reshuffle, they actually also nominated a leader as well. So the team members they straight away have an idea is that oh, I think Mandy is the one. Lah. So I, I volunteer. Lah. I said, OK, I, I can be the leader for today. Now, your challenge uh, for today is about innovation. And innovation is about planning and able to think on your feet. So here at Eco Ardens Labs, they have a lot of activities over the weekend. Families turn up and they are always excited. So your task is to come up with two products that will appeal to your target audience. And as usual, we have two advisors with us. We have Chrissy Ng from Chrissy Ng Shoes. Hi. She's back. And we have Amy Zhang from Amazing Grace. Hi. Hi. You will also be given 300 ringgit courtesy of the Alliance Bank Visa Infinite Business Credit Card. And of course, our advisors will be the eyes and ears watching your every movement and reporting it back to the judges. I'll now pass over to Lukman with further details. For this challenge today, you have a total of one hour to discuss your strategies and buy whatever items you may need to make your products here in this Jaya Grocer. But you only have two opportunities to go in and come back out. So use them wisely. You then have to pitch your products to Arden's Lab employees. This is a pitch, guys. So that means just having the better product may not be the determining factor. Remember, although this challenge is about innovation, that's only half the battle. You still need to convince the Arden's lab employees of your product. Are you clear? Yes. yes. All right, contestants. Guys, team member down, team member down. Uh, the opponents have the disadvantages of because they, they have one man down, you know, due to fever. Kelly is sick, uh, I, I have to take some responsibility as well. <laughs> because um, the day before the challenge, right, uh, actually I'm her roommate. And I was the one who actually talked to her until 4 a.m. when I woke up early in the morning. I was not confident at all. I worried that I might become a burden to my teammate because um, I, I wasn't really feeling very, very well. 
All right, teams, you know the rule. You have a total of one hour to discuss and buy your items. Use it wisely. Your one hour starts now. The teams are required to pitch up to two different products to members of Eco World. Both teams were given a document outlining the challenge as well as the three different judging criteria for winning, which are the pitch, the product and the wow factor. We actually talked a lot. We actually have some ideas. Like, uh, but what we finalised is the edible, edible gelatin cup. You have to make it. Okay, it's made with uh, just say the concept. glycerin and also uh, some natural berries drink, you know. Mm. And the okay. cup is like very solid. You can put drink inside and then after you drink, you can bite the cup. It's and then the cup right? can eat on. It's safe. Yeah. Okay. I like yep. that idea. You have the wow factor inside while it's still match with the, the, the eco name. Joggers and family, they definitely need to drink to fulfill their thirst and also easy snacks. Because we need to show to them how it edible. edible. You buy the jelly, jelly. jelly, jelly yeah. you got the powder, then mm -hmm. you buy the one, and you buy a shape of a cup. But you need a freezer. We do not have a freezer. We couldn't freeze the gelatin. And we need to think of a a replacement of something to do the prototype. We have no idea what kind of innovative products we are going to have. We can serve food products, but we can't cook them. Is there any salad sauce here? So after a long discussions, um, I'm the one who said that, OK, why not we come up with an idea? Is actually we have a store. Uh, we can have the eat all you can salad bowl. Okay, edible cup. Rather than use the gelatin, we use yeah, gelatin. we use the gluten rice flour. I cannot really, you know, glutinous rice. You don't have the strength to, you know, stand. Okay, Wendy, make a call. One, two products. Now, if not, I spend all in one already. I think something with the nuts. Okay, Wendy. Yeah. I am not confident of going in. Okay. I, I cannot pick your brain. I don't know your brain. Uh, right. I, I think it's better if you go. We go in, uh, we'll discuss. Okay. I'll just write down for you what we need. And what else? I think okay. cabbage is quite good. We can no, pumpkin. Nobody use cabbage, it's Chinese one. Lettuce no, 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 is better. No, 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 the purple colour lettuce. That's lettuce, not cabbage. Or purple cabbage. Purple, purple cabbage. cabbage, yes. Purple cabbage. Okay, I think it's best that you go. I think. So that you can get some ideas. So, can you also survey the price so that we know by the end of it, do we have enough money? We use that as it doesn't require bait. Yep. And just put it right there, we stick it, it will work. Okay? From what I heard from Anthony, la, he's really confident la, okay, on that. So we trusted him. Okay. That okay. innovation part. I think you you guys continue think. I'll go in and buy the gluten line sector, the first yep. product first. Okay. And yes. you think of second product. I volunteer myself because the team has a, a longer discussion than the other team. While it's still not decided and time is clicking, don't think, I don't have any any new idea to contribute at the moment. This challenge was designed to test the participants' abilities to think on their feet in noticing a gap in the market, as well as the ability to innovate and present the product to a group of potential buyers. Why don't we have a, have a walk and to see whether the current tenants, what are they doing right now? So when we walk and we got shocked, because they're just shocked, they are doing the similar things that we are going to do, which is selling salad. Uh, we just got a list of things to scout for prices and then uh, we're going to oh, okay. plan our budget. So it's just a scouting trip, I guess. Nice. I'm just writing prices, honestly. I don't know what we're doing yet. The flask is that you can reuse and also every time we bring back to the shop, we have a ten percent and maybe in the future, we can collaborate with all these shops. Yeah. Maybe they, when they come plan, here yeah. again. Yeah. So you go and buy a flask. Yeah. Instead of a flask or not. Okay. Remember, you never use That's pen all? and write down. I cannot. You sure? Don't forget food. No? Hi, I'm, I'm always so shopping every weekend. Right? When Anthony entered that time in the shop for the rice and everything, I realised that he didn't have a pen or pencil, uh, a pen or paper to jot down. And I think it's quite risky. I think minutes. I go and buy. La. Okay. And strike also, right, I go right, and right, see. Right, The second time, um, I volunteered to go into shop, okay, because actually I really have no confidence in them. We 
We cannot use this one. Okay. We cannot. Somebody is out there already. The same exact idea. Similar. Uh, you have no time to go in and get anything already. We need to just plan. So end up, I really take the pen and the paper to to jot down everything, and I take the paper inside there and take everything because time is short. We cannot risk buying less things. Oh, we'll just get the nuts because we are going to buy nuts anyway. Yeah. Then you just buy the jar. Yeah. Then let us think. But yeah. I cannot go in because I'm damn long inside. So someone needs to go in and get everything. I need with three hundred bucks. No, I can't get all the prices. It's crazy. You, know? you just go in and buy. Don't okay. you can. Just wasting okay. time. Yeah, just wasting time. Uh, do both. Do both. Do both. Do both. Do both. The the, the, the main the main thing that we need is actually the bowl and also the jar. Yeah, the bowl and so the jar. So other the ingredients, you just get it. And suddenly, I got the idea is that actually fruits and vegetables, you just need to add in something. It can become either an enzyme drinks or either an enzyme detergent. It's actually in vinegar. Vinegar is the main main ingredients and also the fruits. The fruit slides and also some salt. You buy a salt. Mandy said that uh, it is better that I go in because it seems like um, I have more experiences uh, in shopping. Everything? Yes. Oh, uh, okay. no, no stripe. Okay, I'll find a stripe. Then did you buy a string? No. I can you find that. the string? Just, okay. just for a brand new, nothing to worry. Uh, because we don't need to set everything right now. Yeah. Where is it? Here? Yes. Yeah. Purchase. So smart, you know, this girl. I tell you, so smart. <laughs> you got this? And this is and it's on, and it's on. Okay, add over cup. We use the gluten rice flour. Mandy, yeah. I am not confident of going in. Okay. Remember, you never use That's pen, all? right? 15 I minutes. Think I go and buy. Uh, you have more time to go in and get anything you need. All right, guys, both teams have their supplies, both teams have their ingredients. You can now head over to your locations and start prepping. But don't forget, think about all the things you will be pitching about as well. It's not all about the product. You have two and a half hours left. A team, your booth is there. Orange, orange, yours there. You can go to your booth now. We are going to do edible cup. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so there are actually two options to do it. One is using the gluten spice flour. Okay, you make it. And it's uh, we mix the water, we mix with the proof coloring and flavor. Then we dry it under the sun. Then it will become a cup. It's edible. Me and Eugene, we will be the one who actually will be pitching later on. Cheryl and Kelly, we need your help in uh, setting up the booth, decorations, and also to prepare the raw mat to uh, cutting the fruits. It's actually supposed to be gelatin and... No worry, no worry. ...in the freezer and it's so much easier. Uh, we have not uh, really decided on uh, what to do uh, yet, uh, finalise it. However, now that uh, we have a uh, basic idea what to do. Make a cup with our bare hand without more, right? Why? Because we don't, we don't have enough resources. 
what we actually right now, right, we are pitching for the business model. Uh, this, the product is for the role model. Uh, uh, it's a sample to show them. Hey bro, because it's, it actually, right, this thing is actually working, right? Is there any way, right, to not, not let the 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 flour stick to the to the aluminium foil? Can put anything or not? Like put oil, put, you know what I mean? Oil. Is there any way? Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, because we just don't want it to stick to the. Surface. I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Where to get the oil? It's actually pretty much not not worry, but I see a change in in the scenario. Breaking don't throw away. Add water, it can use back. Add water, that way, like the we. The ship just just doesn't stand out. And the yeah, yeah, yeah. The integrity of the glutinous flour is not stable. <laughs> the glass doesn't work, right? Come yeah, come it's breaking. Don't worry, don't worry. Add right. water, it will work back. Okay. No, add water, no it will work back. Ready. It's not going the exact way that we want. You can tie some vegetables here just to look like it's a organic okay. natural farm. You know, okay. So do you think this is okay? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, of course. We just need, we just need a model. Uh, our whole concept, our flow, our operations are there already. So everyone is very clear about what is our business model and what is the product name, what is our brand name, everything. It's breaking, Anthony. It's not working, you see? Okay. How are we going to make it work? No, don't worry, man. Let me just focus on the pitch. Room. Can we finalise this in five minutes' time? Finalise this? Five minutes' time. Finalise what? In five minutes, six minutes' time. Why? Whether if we can't we're... do it, then we need to change the plan. Yeah. What else to change? To be honest, I think he is not fit to be a team leader. You see, this glutinous is so sticky, we should have just bought flour. Uh, it was really, really amazing because Kelly was uh, very, very sick. So we didn't want her to do much thinking. We just wanted her to sit down and just chill. She helped us cut the fruits. It's a really, really simple task. While Mandy and I brainstormed on the whole pitch and the plan. Even if do this also doesn't look very attractive. It doesn't what? Doesn't look very attractive. No, no, it's the way how you sell how the you, concept. How you sell the concept. You sell the concept, on. not about the finished product. Actually, let's start too, So just come over here. You don't need to throw anything or you don't need to hold anything. Yes, yes. So, so the point is when you, dry, when, you, when you don't need to hold... Don't and... break it! It's cracking. Actually, uh, the pitching, pitching one is only for us for both, right? Not pitching for the business model, right? No, we are pitching for them to give us this booth. Either for rental or for free or whatever our model is. But basically, they must have a reason to put your booth there. Yeah. That is the that is In the goal. Comparing of the two products, so one maybe they are paying the rental, but for ours one, we are doing for your branding. So maybe you are rather you can have us. Yeah. So why need why need we know about all this? Because we need to know how we sustain our business. Yeah. Because if you don't know your cost, you don't know your you don't know how much it to sustain. Because you're going to charge people, so. Yes. You are not going to sustain. You still need to you're... cover your costs. Yeah. We only pitching for the judges to ask for the booth itself. Not we didn't pitching for the business plan. We didn't pitching for the business itself. We just pitching to get the booth. The objective is is quite different actually. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Okay. I'm so done. <laughs> the the teams seems a bit nervous. Seems a bit and there's a bit anxious in some of them. You are the one who will talk about the tractions. Uh, what is the sales? One, one sentence, like you said. Yeah. So after that, you do the conclusions to close. Everyone clear? Yeah. Clear. Thank you, leader. Okay, I'm just going to start the clean up. You must have the plastic bag just now. But let's spend one hour for rehearsal. Okay. That's where we'll win the whole game. Do you to discuss? We're going to have only two containers. One is editable gelatin cup, and another. No, you don't not talk about the flask is unique. You just you have to let them know that we we are the selling things of in a different okay. way. The concept yep. of our shop first. But the way how I'm going no, to go I is that. No, I think we need to arrange. The yes, sequence. I agree with Karine. 
I agree with her because you guys are seriously you need to buck up. You're not doing very well. We're losing challenge after challenge after challenge. If you lose this challenge again, it's already three times already. One of the weakest links in today's challenge would definitely be Anthony because he um, he assumed uh, he made a lot of wrong assumptions uh, when they were buying the raw materials in Jai Grocer, um, and he did not want to write the ingredients down before he would go in Jai Grocer. And now again, he doesn't want to write down the pitch. He does not want to write down the structure of the pitch. Um, the rest of the team are gearing up, uh, getting a bit nervous. They are very focused on the business pitch. All right, I think pretty, I think pretty much that's, that's all right. Should we try? Let me eat time. Start, start with the concert. We have five an hour, don't worry. Yep. Come, let's do You want to stand up and do it? No, we just that's do one round, then we'll just do the mock later on. Okay. Hey, team. Whoa. Actually, our team members still remain. Just one member just exchange. Nothing much changed la, because uh, Karen and Kelly is the one who changed, right? And both of them, the characteristic is actually quite same. Time is up! Lift your hands up from your counter and that's done. Good job, guys! We are pitching for the business model. It's not right? Yeah, it's breaking. You see, this glutinous is so sticky, we should have just bought flour. This is so pretty. If you lose this challenge again, it's already three times ready. Judging the team's pitches today are three members of the EcoWorld organization. They're here to judge the pitches based on the product, their pitch, and the wow factor. Liu Tian Xiong, executive director of EcoWorld, Ho Kui Hong, Divisional General Manager of EcoWorld, and Datuk Nohayati Subali, Chief of Global Sales and Marketing of EcoWorld. Good afternoon, judges. My name is Karen and we are from the A team. Today, I would like to pitch about our EcoDream. EcoDream has the same vision like EcoWorld, which is we emphasize on eco-friendly, lifestyle and humanity. Okay, and we sell our beverages in a very different way. And our beverages are fruit juice. This is our prototype. It's supposed to be our uh, gelatin edible cup, whereby we fill our fruit juice inside and you can just eat the gelatin cup and there's no disposable. And for joggers who wants to take away, we sell our drink in our flask, okay? And for parents with kids who want to have a cool snack, they can always uh, drink our fruit juice from the gelatin edible cup. I want to ask how much the management of Eco and Eco Adin have spent in a year just for the rubbish management fee. This is one of the very delicious, healthy snack. And it's cool that we have this transparent, stingy, transparent cup out from your freezer with your cooling. It's really wow and will impress a lot of guests just around the Eco audience. In conclusion, this is a very healthy and eco-friendly concept and we hope that we can actually put into eco Ardens and bring to the society right here and also the family members right here. Thank you very much. You know the other taste of juice as well? Yes. Yeah. Right? So what is the differentiating point of the juice that differentiates you guys from the other tenants? Juice are actually quite similar. Eco-friendly, mm. the transparent class, the eatable class that you have with the juice, it makes every user experience wonderful and they become Instagrammable. Thank you so much, team. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I felt that A team, at the very end, they managed to pull it through. They were struggling throughout the whole challenge, but they nailed it in when they pitched. To be honest, I do not have so much of confidence. I really think that we still can win for this time round. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Eugene, and uh, I'm on behalf of Team Orange Orange, uh, Mandy, Kelly and Cheryl. Uh, I'd like to introduce you to something that I think uh, is quite interesting. It's called EcoX. Now, what is EcoX, right? Think about, you probably think it's like some jar of fruits or something, but think about, think again, right? I just want you to think about 
the detergents in your house. Think about it, the chemicals, how pricey it is, how you can actually, you have to buy it again and again. I also want you to think about all the wasted food in your house. Now, we have reimagined everything. Not only do we have a product, we also have a whole system because we want you to actually give us this booth for free. And I'm going to tell you how. In this, uh, in this, uh, the, okay, Mandy, off you go. Yeah. Sorry. Totally. <laughs> uh, suddenly, Eugene blank and do not, don't know what he want to say after that. I got shocked, is that? Wow, I have to cover lah. So our solution is to use your waste product, uh, which uh, is actually to be disposed Sorry. later and is actually acidic. So we will do some progress and it become the alkaline product and is suitable to make an enzyme. So this enzyme is going to be as a detergent product in our house. And uh, once we have uh, the compost material from the residents or the shops nearby, uh, we will just leave, uh, take some of those, just put sugar. in some sugar. We leave this for about a month and uh, it can be used on any uh, product, uh, any, any surface. So basically our business model is, how are we making profit with it? So this bottle, we are selling seven ringgit for one bottle. It can actually last for one month time. And if you are the one who provide us the decompose, we will only charge you for five ringgit per bottle. How do people actually sort the decompose, right? Because there is bones, there is gravy, there is all, all sorts of things. Yeah, our staff will be well trained and will give them the educations and also the some training and will put some um, education stuff here. But if this method is so easy to do, why not your target market do it at home? I think with the objective of us trying to sell you this idea of uh, giving us this booth space, I think more of it is we don't mind being the initial push for everyone to do it. In our minds, and also for Eco World and Eco Ardens, we want people to be sustainable and having that community together, uh, recycling stuff. That's amazing, I think. And if we can do it with a little bit of profit or just a break even, I think it's really, really great for both Eco and us. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go. The judges were actually just looking for an innovative product. Um, they didn't really need to know how they were going to sell it, how was it going to be profitable, uh, how many units they need to sell every day to be break even. Uh, so the team spent two thirds of their time working on that as opposed to how to present the innovativeness of the product. This is our prototype. It's supposed to be our uh, gelatin edible cup. Eugene blank and do not, do not know what he wants to say after that. But if this method is so easy to do, why not your target market do it at home? As always, the day after challenge brings the performance review, where the participants will find out which team has won and which four will go to face the judges. Let me remind you what's at stake. The Alliance Bank Bismarck Challenge had hundreds of applicants. We had top 40, top 12, and after the day, six of you will remain to win the grand prize of 250,000 ringgit. So congratulations, you've come this far. As you can see, Kelly isn't here today because uh, she's not feeling well, so she's gone back to her room. The third challenge was on product innovation, where you had to think on your feet, plan ahead, and then pitch to three senior Eco World representatives. Andrew, you were team lead for the A team. Yes. What do you think was your leadership style? Looking, looking at what all the team members can do, what would the personality of each team members, and how to put everyone together to have the team spirit, and work towards the goal, which is to have the product to pitch to the judges. And for you, Mandy, what was your strategy? Our strategy is to utilize the products that we have bought and we have changed the ready products uh, into something else, uh, which is uh, innovative. 
So yeah, we, we are confident we have done a good job yesterday. Well, it's that time again. We have to announce who wins and who loses. And the losing team is Team Orange Orange, which means the winning team is the A team. So congratulations. The winning team can leave the room. Hey guys, we finally won! Ah! I'm really glad that, uh, that the team actually finally won the challenges. And it's surprised, but definitely we feel relieved <laughs> that we finally got a chance to say, you won <laughs> the challenge. Surprised, but um, I think it's a sense of achievement. Maybe we managed to pitch the product well instead of showing the prototype. Of course, I feel surprised and happy at the moment. I can smell the victory, you know, after a few losses. Wow, oh, this is really relief. And I'd like to invite your advisor, Amy Zheng, from Amazing Grace, to give her feedback on your performance. Hi, Amy. Hi, Freda. So, what are your thoughts on your performance? Uh, I very honestly think the team did a good job yesterday. Uh, yeah. There was no, uh, I'm not lying to say, I think the team worked hard together. Um, I really like their business idea. Uh, and given that one of the four members is not performing at the top, in fact, not even 50%, I think the team carried on really well. Yeah. So good job, guys. Thanks, yeah, I'm really proud of you guys. Thank you. Yeah. All right, unfortunately, all four of you will be meeting the judges and Amy will be giving her feedback as well. And two of you will be leaving after this as well. So I wish you all the best. Thank you. The result was uh, absolutely unexpected, but I think it was fair. I think the way they judged it, the way they designed it, it was fair. So uh, we accept it with all our heart. Congrats to the other team. The winning team was selected by the three representatives of Eco World based on their pitch, their product, and most importantly, the wow factor. So your team lost? Unfortunately, yes. Why do you think your team lost? Because they were too confident. In which aspect you say that they are overconfident? They didn't actually read the instructions very clearly. They took the pitch to be the most important criteria. We're going to have a business plan. We've got to convince the judges we had the revenue plan, the cost, and we will tell them when we break even and when we are going to uh, make profit. What was the product of your team and what was the product that won? They came up with a biodegradable organic detergent. So the winning team, uh, on the other hand, had an edible product. They wanted to make an edible cup. Tell us more about the losing team right now, yes. okay? You strap each of them down to us. Uh, Cheryl, I think, has been the earnest one, the reliable one, the hardworking one. His weakness, on the other hand, is that he didn't really contribute to the innovative idea. He actually challenged the rest of the team. In the very undertone, he said, hey guys, are we pitching the product? Are we pitching the business idea? Uh, and no one replied to him, and he didn't insist. Uh, Kelly is, I think, Unfortunately, she felt very terrible. I think she was uh, having fever. Mm. Uh, she, she had no voice. Mm. She couldn't speak mm. even. Uh, but she went for us. She went shopping. Even when she was feeling unwell, they sent out her out to do the shopping. Mm. She was doing the chopping, all the chopping every single ingredient into compost. Mm. Uh, so that sounds a bit cruel. You get the most sickest person. <laughs> she's the <laughs> sickest person to do the shopping and the, and the chopping. And yeah, the, anyone from the rest of the team volunteer yes. works. Ask a sick man yeah, to do it. You, you asked Cheryl and uh, okay. Kelly to do the physical work. Uh, Eugene is great attitude, very charismatic. But very quickly here, Mandy started saying, how do we make this into a business plan? I think Mandy is a good leader. I think she is humble. She's not dominating. Uh, she's there. She was the one who gave the idea to make this enzyme or to make this detergent. Uh, however, maybe she couldn't rein Eugene down. Your personal opinion, do you think yeah. your team will lose? I didn't think they were going to lose because okay. their pitch was so good. It's just a product? Yes, Does product not fit. meet the criteria? Yes. Out of the four person that you went through, the weakest one.
The losing team is Team Orange Orange. The winning team is the A team. Why do you think your team lost? Because they were too confident. The four, the weakest one. The first thing is, we are slightly overconfident. We will win the challenge. So we never expect that our team will be the one who are actually on the chopping block. Do you guys know why we're here instead of the other team? Probably because the pitch was not good. On the contrary, actually, though, your pitch was very good. It was rated very well. It was the other two things. What were the other two criteria? It was the innovation itself. Um, and the other one was the wow factor. I think you spent a lot of time figuring out the business, which is good, but that wasn't the brief. You did the pitch, but the brief was, give us a great product, give us a wow product. And I think that's where the judges, you know, you, the judges you know, unanimously said that, you know, I think uh, the, you, you did not do score well there. I noticed yesterday that, uh, Kelly, you were not feeling well. You were buying groceries, you're running around, you're chopping, you're doing all the heavy, heavy work. How do you guys allocate your work? Of course, Shari was helping out Mandy. Lah. No, Mandy, the team leader must start first because you are responsible for the team. I have asked a lot of times um, with Kelly. I just want to make sure she's okay, she's doing well, and she, she, she has the rights to, to have the performance chance in this challenge. Um, to buying the stuff in Jaya Grocer, uh, three of us, we don't have the strength to shop. Strength so, to shop? To, to shop, to shop the, the products that we need for the, for the materials. So you say yeah. none of you visited supermarkets before and bought products yeah, um, like obviously vegetables I'm a, or you know, fruits, whatever it is? You've I'm never a, done that before? I'm a worker hurry. Yeah, and so-called uh, Eugene and Cheryl. You two never shop in supermarkets before? Thank God I have a good wife. <laughs> okay, she does the. She does I'm the, sure she'll appreciate hearing that. So Kelly yeah. does all the shopping and get, getting things done, doing all the chopping and so forth. Uh, for chopping job um, and also for so-called for sorrow job, it's actually when we're thinking of um, how to synergize each other's strength and also how to come up the pitch. So we have a conclusion is that me and Eugene will be the one who come up the business plan and. Um, while Kelly and also Sharyl will be the one who, who preparing in the ground job. Sharyl, in the video, we heard you saying something to the team members about a wrong strategy. Is that true? They want to put all the business plan and all this business plan will be, will be prepared in their mind in order to have a better pitching during that time. Why I am brought out that issue because of the challenge itself is about the innovation of the products and how to repitch the product. Why don't you press on to tell your team members? Actually, a few times already, uh, I try to voice out all these all these things. But as a team, we do as a group decision. Uh, when three people uh, agree so with that, three of them all override you. Something like that. Eugene. Yep. So here was someone who actually was right on the money in terms of the brief. He got it right. What went through your mind when he objected? The judges may not think that there's a wow factor there, but for someone who hasn't bought anything in the supermarket for a long time, an organic enzyme is pretty, wow pretty wow factor. So all we had to do was just to make sure that there's a sustainability case and we'll definitely win it. And Mandy, you were the team leader. Did you take two into account? Uh, we just need to come up with some prototype. So we have no idea at all. Our product is not innovative. Kelly, three episodes, three times you're here, standing up there. How you feel? But each time I'm in the chopping board, I really learn something. The, the first time I learned is that to, to have competent, competent analysis. The second time, I got to know that, you know, listen and also a fair game is a very important thing to be integrity, to have the integrity. And um, th this time, um, look into what is the criteria to win and also the innovation part. I'd be cruel. I also think, Sorry, Eugene? Yeah, I also think that uh, many should stay. No, no, we're not asking for your comment. Who should stay? That's my, our job. Right? Can I ask you to nominate one? If you were to nominate one person to lead? Eugene, start first. Then. I'll choose Mandy. Mandy, out. Mandy. Mandy, out. Kelly. Eugene? 
Regine out. Mandy. Eugene. Regine out. Thank you so much for your frank and opinion. We shall let you know shortly. Mandy actually saved the team to a certain extent. They were flailing um, between four or five different ideas. And I think Mandy came in and said, look, okay, it's time to do this. Let's, let's do this now. And I think in that sense, that shows excellent leadership. I still like Kelly, okay, okay all the while. Okay, I think uh, you can see that the determinations that uh, she, in the last few challenges. I think among the four of them, my view among the four of them, the one that showed true entrepreneurial spirit is Mandy. Right. Uh, she took the risk. Uh, she, well, her weakness was she was overconfident. One, I think Eugene have a little bit overshadowed Mandy in circumstances and may have also blocked other members you know, the opportunity to actually voice out their opinion. For Sharil, I think the point that he, the weakness is that she, he didn't actually persist that hey, we really got a problem. Let's discuss again. You know, may not be wrong, may not be wrong, but as I say, it's very close among four of them. That's my way. So we are based on the strength of what we see today. We and pick the, the best two. Based on the challenge. Based on the challenge. And that's yes, the yes. Can you call contestants up again, please? Thank you. Before we give you the good news and uh, bad news, we must thank you. Thank all of you for participating. All of you did very well. So we have to take out the two weakest link. Mandy, can you please step forward? Kelly, please step forward too. Congratulations, you're still in the competition. Congrats again. Uh, you all may leave the room so that we can talk to the two... The two gentlemen. Two gentlemen. Today, we have to pick you up as the uh, two person to leave the competition. Uh, the weakness, but I said about you being quiet, is not a weakness. It can be a great strength in the future. Um, Eugene, just one thing. You can overpower people. So your job really is to really try to stop, pause for a while, and ask, ask questions. Make sure your team is with you. Are you okay with this? Asking that questions will help slow you down and help you think a little bit. Okay. Thank you very yeah, much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Thank Thanks. You. The people that you meet here are amazing. The, all the participants are they are amazing. Pengalaman yang bagus untuk saya. Experience with it. Terima kasih kepada Alliance Bank dan Echo World kerana buat program seperti ini. What I'll miss the most is definitely the late night drinks with the with the boys and girls. Uh, I'll miss the camera crew. I'll miss I'll miss uh, you know just waking up here all day. But uh, you know I'm also really really excited to go home. So today's challenge is uh, setting up an ice kacang stall. It's very tasty. Ice kacang, ice kacang. You've been a fantastic contestant. We have to say that you eliminated 